is called the flexor digitorum superficialis test. And so the therapist is going to hold all the fingers into, sorry, the patient is going to be sitting with wrist and hand supported and resting comfortably. Then the therapist is going to hold all therapist, all fingers in extension except for the finger being tested. Then ask the patient to flex the finger being tested at the PIP joint. Okay? Because remember, the superficialis goes to the middle phalanx. It doesn't go all the way to the end. Right? And the fingers. So, um, so you're going to ask the person to flex their PIP joint. Right? Yes. Flex the PIP joint. And then a negative response is patient will be able to flex the PIP joint. A ne what is negative response and positive response is patient will not be able to flex their finger. So this means that the tendon is, is either cut or absent. So this is how it's done. So you have the person laying their hand out. And if I'm testing this finger, I have to block all the fingers except for this one. And I'm going to block, but I'm going to block this finger all the way up to the PIP joint. Then I'm going to ask her to bring her finger up. You okay. see that? Mm -hmm. Then I'll do the next one. I'm going to block and I'm going to say, bring that finger up. Good. Then I'm going to block all of them except for that one. Good. And then lastly. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Was, my ring was pinching. And then ask her to do that. That's okay, the superficial test. Finger, her index finger. Right there. So you block okay. here? You have to block all the fingers into extension, and then you're going to block the MP joint from flexing of that hand. Block so she, the MP. Yeah, so she can flex the PIP of the te finger you're testing. So she can do it. That's a negative test. If she can't do it, then that means that the tendon is either absent or cut. Okay.